Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded October 8th, 2015. I'm Aaron Lyons, and today we're going to be talking about the recent breaches, Safe Harbor, and more. This episode is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing in active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. And brought to you by Cyberry. Get the latest hacking and security training from cyberry.it. Visit hacknaked.tv forward slash cyberry for a referral link. So breaches this past week. T-Mobile Experian uh, experienced a breach. This is the second breach that Experian has, major breach that Experian has, has uh, experienced. The first uh, involved Court Ventures, which Experian acquired in 2015. Supposedly, this breach started prior to that acquisition, and that affected 20 million customers. This breach involving T-Mobile and Experian is affecting 15 million of T-Mobile's customers. Uh, and the data that's been taken includes name, addresses, social security numbers, birthdays, and other ID information, basically everything you need to submit for a credit check. And T-Mobile is offering its customers that have been affected by this breach security monitoring. Now, that fixes everything whenever your personal information is taken. We see that time and time again. Uh, another breach this week was Scott Trade. This breach affected only 4.6 million of Scott Trade's customers, and no serious information was taken. And it doesn't appear that social security numbers, email addresses, or other sensitive information was taken. What does appear to have been taken in this breach was names and street addresses. We'll be watching this story closely to see if that changes at all in the next coming weeks. So this past Tuesday on October 6th, the European Court of Justice announced a ruling that struck down the 15-year-old uh, data transfer agreement known as Safe Harbor. This agreement, um, if you're not familiar with it, allows US companies to transfer data on Europeans back to the US for storage as long as they, uh, the, these companies, abide by all of Europe's uh, data privacy laws. Now, this was struck down in light of the revelations coming from uh, the Snowden breach, leak, whistleblowing, uh, whatever you want to call that, and um, the NSA, other NSA spying that has come to light in the last couple of years. What does this mean for U.S. tech companies? Uh, this is all up in the air right now. Um, does it mean that this data has to reside on physical drives and data centers in the host countries or in the European Union? Um, can they not transfer it back to the U.S. now? We're really waiting to see what the fallout from this is and what happens. Um, so we're going to keep an eye on that and see what this means. You know, the NSA spying, you know, has had already had some negative effects on European uh, U.S. tech companies, a loss of business from from other countries, uh, and this is just exasperating that to another to some greater extent. Also, uh, TrueCrypt. The exploit has been released, uh, the details for it, and you can we'll have that link to it in our show notes up on ExploitDB. And it is full compromise of a system running TrueCrypt, that full access to it. So if you're running TrueCrypt, it's time to move on. And BitLocker looks like a better choice than TrueCrypt now. No one thought that was going to happen. Uh, last but not least is a malware that's been being tracked by Symantec. They've dubbed this malware Linux YFATCH, and it's compromised what they say of tens of thousands of routers and other uh, information of things systems around the world. And what's interesting about this malware is that unlike other malware that you would expect, it has not stolen any data, snooped on its victims, or engaged in any other malicious activity that they've been able to identify. Instead, what it appears that this malware is doing is securing these consumer-grade electronics that it's compromised uh, and helping prevent further infection 
and spying, uh, and spying on them. So vigilante malware that's securing systems, it's sort of new on the, on the front, uh, sort of uh, gray hat uh, malware. Uh, this is very interesting. We're going to keep an eye on this and see if anything further evolves from this story. That's all we have for this week. You can follow us, uh, any of the big social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, at Security Weekly. You can email the show at the show at hacknaked.tv. Next week on October 16th is our big 10-year anniversary. We'll be recording and streaming live all day long. We have a great uh, lineup of interviews, both in-house and via Skype. Uh, it's going to be an amazing show. P tune in, watch the antics. We're going to have a great time. Check out our shop, all of our pint glasses, uh, shot glasses, rocks glasses, T-shirts are available up on our shop. And that'll be it for this episode. See you next time.